Hi everyone, my name is Keith, a machine expert with USA Clean for 12 years, and this is the Bulldog WD-20 Auto Scrubber. In this overview, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to properly maintain your equipment to keep it running at peak performance, and it'll help minimize the cost and need of sending a service tech. Starting up top here, we have the baler. You want to make sure that that is not bent or damaged. Right here, you have your handle adjustment knob. You have one on the left and the right side. You want to make sure that those are not broken. Moving a little further down, we have your key switch right here. You want to make sure that that's not broken or damaged. Next to that, we have your forward and reverse switch. You want to make sure that that is not damaged in any way either. Underneath that, we have your speed control knob. You want to make sure that that's not broken and spins freely. And over here, we have your battery meter. We want to make sure that that actually registers and is not damaged. Continuing down, right here on the left-hand side of the machine, you have your solution control lever. You want to make sure that that is operable. Right here is your squeegee lowering lever. You want to make sure that that's not bent or damaged in any way. Next to the solution control lever, you have your suction hose. You want to make sure that that's not damaged and it's properly seated into the machine. Right here, we have your battery indicator for your charger. You want to make sure that when you plug your charger in, that that lights up. Okay, next to your battery charge indicator is your cable. This is the cable for the charger. You want to make sure that that's not frayed or broken in any way. And also take a look at the plug. You want to make sure that your ground plug is there and nothing is burnt or damaged. Right here is your recovery tank drain hose. You want to make sure that that is not damaged or broken in any way. Right here to the right of the machine is your solution drain line. You want to make sure that that doesn't have any holes in it and it's not damaged in any way. Now underneath the charger cord are your circuit breakers. You want to make sure that those are not tripped and they are not damaged. Down here we have your squeegee assembly. Go ahead and give that a once over. Make sure that your squeegee assembly is not broken or damaged. Take a look at your blades. You want to make sure that your blades are not worn and the caster wheels are not damaged in any way. So right above the squeegee assembly to the right of the machine is your foot pedal for your brush deck. You want to make sure that that's not broken or bent in any way. So underneath the machine on the left hand side here, you have your solution line right here is a solution filter. If you unscrew that, there's a filter in there. You want to make sure that that's not clogged or damaged in any way. Right here is your open and close ball valve. You want to make sure that that's operable. Take a look at your caster wheels. You want to make sure that those have no flat spots and they're not broken in any way. And back behind here is your solenoid valve. You want to make sure that that's not damaged or your wires are not unplugged. And then go ahead and take a look at your drive wheel. You want to make sure that your drive wheel doesn't have flat spots and it's not broken. Moving to the front of the machine, right here is your brush deck. You want to make sure that that's not damaged or bent or broken in any way. Take a look at your brush motor. Make sure your brush motor looks good and it's plugged in. And then take a look at your pad driver and pad. If you need to replace your pad or anything like that, go ahead and do that at this time. So right here on top of the machine, this is your solution fill port. Go ahead and make sure that your chain is still connected so you don't lose the cap. Right here is another filter. You want to make sure that that's clean and free of debris and it's not broken in any way. So up top here, this is your recovery tank and recovery tank lid. Lift open the lid. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the gasket and make sure that it's not damaged or broken in any way. Make sure that inside the recovery tank is clean and free of debris. And in the back here, you have a ball float. You want to go ahead and take a look at that and you want to make sure that that's not broken, damaged, or clogged up. Once we've double checked the recovery tank, go ahead and open it up to expose the battery compartment. A couple of things we want to check out in here. Go ahead and take a look at the back side of your hoses here. You want to make sure that they're not broken or damaged in any way. Take a look at your recovery tank lid cable. You want to make sure it's not frayed or broken. Take a look at your batteries. Make sure that they are clean and free of corrosion. Now these are wet cell batteries, so you want to pop them open and make sure that the cells have distilled water in them. Also make sure that your cables are good and tight. And that about wraps it up for this machine. Once again, my name is Keith. For all the parts listed in today's video, plus thousands of diagrams and how-to repair guides, be sure to click the link in the description below or visit us on the web at usaclean.com. Now, if you like what you watch, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Stay safe and thanks for watching.